I made this palm cross last year. I spent the day on the Bourneville estate in Western Supermare. And on a cold Palm Sunday afternoon, a few of us gathered in the park to make crosses with local children, telling the story of Jesus riding into Jerusalem. What a difference a year makes. So here we are today, unable to gather together in churches or elsewhere. Our streets are empty. No Palm Sunday processions this year with donkeys through our communities, reenacting the scene of the crowds all jostling to get a view to see this special man, Jesus. As we begin this Holy Week, perhaps now more than ever before, we can walk the way of the cross in the company of Jesus with some understanding. As Jesus made his way into Jerusalem, he knew there was a threat to his life. His disciples had counseled against making the journey, hadn't they? They were scared. The coronavirus holds a threat over us too. We're scared. How then did the disciples feel when they saw the cheering crowds? Did their spirits lift? Did they think that perhaps it would be all right after all? The cheering crowds ripping down branches from trees, throwing their clothing in the path of the donkey. It must have been quite a sight. Did the disciples get caught up in the excitement or did they perceive this crowd could turn from adoring fans to a baying mob? What a difference a few days make. This week starts with welcoming Jesus as a triumphant king and ends with him crucified on a cross as a common criminal seems to end in disaster and yet the real triumph was yet to be seen as Jesus rose from death, fulfilling all God's plans to show us what love looks like. During this week we will get to glimpse different perspectives of Jesus through the eyes of some who were present at the time. Each day we're going to post a reflection through the eyes of one of our Darson team. Journey with us. True and humble King, hailed by the crowd as Messiah, grant us the faith to know you and love you, that we may be found beside you on the way of the cross, which is the path of glory. Amen.